Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain analytical geometry, more specifically exam type questions. This is lesson 6 of 6. Have you subscribed yet? You can also visit my website, onlinemats.co.za. The link is in the comments below. There you will find all the chapters in the syllabus. Let's start with the maths. Example 1. In the diagram below, a circle has a diameter with equation y is equal to 2x plus 3. The tangent at e on the circle cuts the x-axis at f, 12, 0. Calculate the coordinate of E. Now, what we will do is, if only we knew the equation of the tangent, then we could do simultaneous equations to find the coordinate of E. Now, first of all, for the equation of the tangent, when we have the equation Y is equal to 2X, plus 3. Do you agree that is the equation of the diameter? And we know that the, that the gradient of the diameter is 2. And if we know the gradient of the diameter, we automatically know that the gradient of the tangent will be minus a half, since we have a theorem that says tangent is perpendicular to the radius. So what I did there was, if the gradient of the diameter is 2, for the tangent, swap number, swap sign. Therefore, the tangent's gradient is minus a half. Into the equation, y is mx plus c, m's value is minus a half. And now to find c, we're looking for a coordinate that lives on the tangent and there is one it's the point f 12 0 the x intercept there in y's place we substitute 0 equals minus a half and in x's place 12 plus c minus a half times 12 is negative 6 and c's value is 6 therefore the equation of the tangent is y is minus half x plus 6 and we label it equation number two then both equations are equal to y therefore we can equate them to find the point of contact therefore number one is equal to number two therefore 2x plus 3 is equal to minus a half x plus 6 to get rid of the 2 under the line we will multiply right through by 2 Therefore, we end with 4x plus 6 is equal to minus x plus 12. Let's group all the x's together on the left-hand side, 4x plus x, and on the right-hand side, all the constants, the numbers, minus 6 plus 12. Therefore, we have on the left-hand side, 4x plus x is 5x. On the right-hand side, minus 6 plus 12 is 6, and we divide away the 5. Therefore, x's value is 6 over 5. To find the corresponding y coordinate, we can substitute x is 6 over 5 in either of the two equations. I chose number 1. In x's place goes 6 over 5 and y is 27 over 5. Therefore, the coordinate of e is 6 over 5 and 27 over 5. Example 2. In the diagram below, two circles are drawn. Circle center O touches circle center B externally. The equation of the circle with center the origin is given by x squared plus y squared is 45. And remember, this 45 is in fact r squared. The equation of the circle with center B is given by, and then I give you the equation, and this 20 again is R squared. Determine the value of P. 
Now, where do we find B? B is this value and that value over there. And do you agree, since the equation of the circle is in center radius form, we can say that B's coordinate is the point 2B and minus B. And that's what we're looking for. Where will we start? We'll start with OB squared, the distance formula, and we will work out the distance OB. Therefore, to find OB, we need B's coordinate and we need O's coordinate. And my advice to you is on top of the coordinate, write x, y, x, y when you substitute into the distance formula. The x at b is 2p minus the x at o is 0 squared plus the y at b is minus p minus the y at o is 0 squared. Then 2p minus 0 is just 2p squared is 4p squared and minus p minus 0 is just minus p and if you square it it becomes p squared. Then we can say 4p squared plus p squared is 5p squared. So that is now ob squared is equal to 5p squared. Then we can also say that ob is radius of the center a circle with center O plus the radius of the circle with center B. And I said the radius there at circle center O was root 45. Remember R squared is 45. Therefore, R is just 45 plus the radius at circle with center B was 20. R squared was 20, therefore the radius is root 20. So OB is in fact root 45 plus root 20. And when we simplify that, root 45 is 3 root 5 plus root 20 is 2 root 5. 3 root 5 plus 2 root 5 is 5 root 5. Now remember this is OB. So what we can do is we can square both sides, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And then we end with OB squared is equal to 5 root 5 squared. And then that one, 5 squared is 25 times, and then root 5 squared is just 5. And we end with 25 times 5 is 125. So now here we have OB squared is equal to 5B squared, and at the bottom this OB squared is also equal to 125. Therefore, we can equate the two, and we end with 5B squared is equal to 125. Let's divide away the 5, and we end with P squared is 25. Let's take the square root, and we end with P is plus or minus 5. Therefore, B is greater than 0 and B is equal to 5. Example 3. The point P, negative 3, 2, Q, 9, 10 and R, A, 4 lie on the circumference of the circle as shown in the figure below. P, R is the diameter of the circle with center C. Show that A is equal to 13. Now where do we find A? A is the X coordinate at R. First of all, we know that PR is a diameter. Therefore, we can say that angle Q is equal to 90 degrees and the reason is angle in semicircle. Then we will use this. Do you agree that PQ is perpendicular to QR? And in terms of gradient, we know that the gradient of PQ times the gradient of QR is equal to negative 1. That is the formula that we use when two gradients are perpendicular. Then there's your gradient formula. And now 
we're going to substitute Q, P and R's coordinates. So my advice to you is on top of P, right there for yourself, the X at P is minus 3, the Y at P is 2. The X at Q is 9, the Y at Q is 10. The X at R is A and the Y at R is 4. And now when you substitute, you won't make a mistake. Therefore, the y at q is 10 minus the y at p is 2, over. The x at q is 9 minus the x at p is 3, times. The y at r is 4 minus the y at q is 10, over. The x at r is a minus the x at q is 9. Everything equals negative 1. And now, on top of the line... 10 minus 2 is 8, the denominator 9 plus 3 is 12. Then 4 minus 10 is negative 6 over a minus 9 equals negative 1. Then, let's see, 3 goes into 6 twice, 3 goes into 12 four times, 2 goes in itself once, 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes in itself once, 2 goes into 8, 4 times. And we're left with negative 4 over a minus 9 is equal to negative 1. Let's get rid of the a minus 9. So we will multiply a minus 9 this side and a minus 9 that side. On the left hand side they will cancel and you're left with negative 4 is equal to minus 1 times a minus 9. We will multiply in the negative 1. We end with negative 4 is minus a plus 9. Let your 9 walk across. Negative 4, negative 9 is negative 13 is equal to minus a. Divide away the minus and a's value is 13. The next question says, give the equation of the circle in the form, and then that form is familiar, that is the midpoint radius form. So now, let's see, when we zoom in on C, C is the midpoint of the circle, but C is also the midpoint of the diameter. And we have a formula to calculate the midpoint of a line, since a diameter is a line. It is the x at c is equal to the x at p plus the x at r over 2. And the y at c is the y at p plus the y at r over 2. Then we're going to use p and we're going to use r's coordinates. So therefore, on top of p, x of p is minus 3, y of p is 2. x of r is 13 and the x at r is 4. Now we substitute. In Now, first of all, we will work out the x coordinate at c. Therefore, the x at p is minus 3 plus the x at r is 13 over 2, and that is 5. And then the y coordinate at c will be the y at p is 2 plus the y at r is 4 over 2 is the y at c is 3. Therefore, the coordinate there at C is 5 and 3. Now, at least, we have A and B's value. So we are still looking for a value for R. And we will find that with the distance formula to find R. The distance formula says R squared is, and then I gave you the distance formula there, and we will use C and R's coordinate. The C's coordinate, you calculated it, it was 5 and 3, and R is the point 13 and 4. And remember, on top of your coordinate, you add that. Therefore, R squared is equal to the X at C is 5 minus the X at R is 13 squared, plus the Y at C is 3 minus the Y at R is 4 squared. 5 minus 13 is negative 8 squared, plus 3 minus 4 is negative 1 squared. 
and then we can say negative 8 squared is 64 plus negative 1 squared is 1. 64 plus 1 is 65. R squared is equal to 65. And don't take the square root there since your formula contains R squared. Therefore, the equation of the circle will be x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 65. This is Miss Pythagoras signing off till next time.